Hello everyone, this is Paul from Hi-Fi Mac. In today's video, I want to show you the Android screen for Mercedes-Benz. This is original Mercedes-Benz display here, you can see. This is NTG 5.0 here. Take a look. And this one is 10.25 inch. Android screen here, yeah. just like this. Here, yeah. compared to the original display, you can take a look here, yeah. just like this. See, it's much bigger than the original one here. Yeah. See, and this one is 12.3 inch. The biggest one, it's much bigger than the original one. And it also much bigger than the 10.25 inch models. Here you can see, much bigger. And compared to this, see? So now today I want to show you how to replace the original screen with this biggest screen, 12.3 Android screen. I will tell you how to connect to the head unit here. Here I would like to have an introduction for the head unit. This is NT3 5.0 head unit and the OEM display here. This connector is video cable. We call LVDS. The LVDS come from the back of the head unit here. This one. And go to the back of the original display here. And this is the power for the original display here. Okay, now we power off. And disconnect the video cable. Here. Also the power cable, disconnect it. Okay. And we also disconnect the power cable for the radio head unit. Okay. Okay, now we have disconnect the original cables. Here, this is the power cable for Android screen. This is male connector and female connector. The female connector connect to the back of the radio head unit. But please pay attention to this. If your car has the optical fiber cable, you need to move the optical cable to this new power cable. So the optical cable can continue to work as before. Now we connect to the radio head unit. Okay, and connect to the power cable, this one, okay, and here, this is the power for the Android screen, connect to this, okay. Now, because the NDG 5.0, the audio transferred to the USB here. This is the factory USB. You can find this under the armrest box. So we need to connect this cable. In the power cable, there's a connector 
here. Here you can see this cable. Audio out. Connect to this one. Okay. And this end connect to the USB here. Okay. Now the video cable. Here. This is the original video cable. And this is the cables. RCA cables. It have video cable here. Okay? Connect it. And then connect this cable. Here. Then you'll be fine. Okay, now let's just power on. It get into the original menu when power on. So here you can see this is the main menu for the Android screen here. When you click the NT3 menu, it will get into the original car interface here. Now we need to take a test for the audio. I play the music here. See? The audio is okay. Okay. And we go to the original car menu. See? We have the audio. Now, the original functions are all okay. And the angel screen also have the sound. We just text it. That is fine.